what's up guys welcome back to the channel and of course if you hadn't known already this last week a week and a half or whatnot uh i have i was struck on here on bearded beanie this channel uh for some shit that uh i recently watched a video about the other day that's actually been going around here lately with youtube but we ain't gonna get into all that i'm just here to make this video to basically let y'all know that this is where your boy Beanie will be streaming from now on. Right over here at the Beanie Shack. Be sure to head on over there. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. When you see me live, come through and kick it. I'm making this video to put everybody on notice. Everybody uh, yeah, that make everybody aware or where I'm at in case you hadn't been seeing anything or you haven't been seeing any shorts or whatnot. Now, I'm not going to stop uploading to this channel, but I am going to be doing more videos and shorts over here on this channel, whereas over on the Beanie Shack here, what you're looking at now is where I'll be doing my live streams and whatnot. Not because I don't care about it, because anything can happen over here. The same thing on my live streams that happen on Bearded Beanie could possibly happen over here. But to preserve Bearded Beanie, the Bearded Beanie channel, I want to preserve what I have with it. Though I may not care that much about it, I have put a lot of work into it and have dealt with a lot of bullshit just to say, fuck it, I'm going to let it go. And with that being said, I highly encourage all of y'all, any of my loyal, and I'm going to use that word loyal in capital letters, my loyal friends, my loyal subs, everybody that I hang out with when I'm playing with everybody, when we all streaming together, anybody that I'm hanging out with, I expect to actually see you over at the Beanie Shack showing some support. So with that being said, guys, Again, head over to the Beanie Shack, check out the old stream, check out some of the stuff that I was throwing up there. This is pretty much from when I first started. I was just making sure I had a backup plan, like I always do, and here is that backup plan. So, uh, I'm trying to see if I want to go ahead and roll up into this next topic. Uh, uh, roll up into this next topic, and I, I think and I might want to go ahead and do it just talk a little bit about it i don't want to take up too much of your time so i'm gonna try to keep my eye on the timer here and and keep this short but this topic is revolving around mortal kombat one now i've been seeing a shit ton of videos shit ton of videos from close friends and other youtubers just basically wondering what the hell is going on with Mortal Kombat. Why is the game the way it is? You know what I'm saying? And so on and so forth. Now, with that being said, we all know, or at least some of us know, that uh, Mortal Kombat was supposed to be a different game. We know that Mortal Kombat was supposed to be uh, Injustice 3, honestly. I mean, it makes sense to, to the way that the game plays, the way that it feels. I mean, in my personal opinion, uh, it feels just like I, I mean, it feels like Injustice 3, man. You know? Uh, it feels like... I don't know. It, I don't know. It, it, it feels like Injustice 3. Oh, wow. you know, I, I really can't put too much detail on it. As to how, anybody who's been playing Mortal Kombat or any NetherRealm game for the last 5, 10 years, 15 years, you know what these games feel like. <clears throat> you know NetherRealm games delivers a certain type of game. And NetherRealm has been one of those companies that's been consistent up until here lately with this new modern era of gaming. Now, with the modern era of gaming, me personally, I believe that there's too much access to back scenes production. <clears throat> Everybody wants to know what's going on. Everybody wants to, to, to 
see what's happening. Everybody wants to know how the game is going. <clears throat> but nobody, you know, everybody want a certain type of game. Let's just be realistic with it. Everybody in this that's been waiting for Mortal Kombat or been one playing Mortal Kombat, they basically, or any game, it ain't even just Mortal Kombat. Everybody wants their own personal version of a game. They want the game to be tailored and built to the way that they want the game to be tailored and built to. And you got some people like the rest of us who just don't care how the game is built as long as it's a good game, a functional game, a game that I can come home, sit down, burn up three to four to five, maybe eight of my hours on weekends. I'm going to burn up a whole day playing and I won't have any issues with playing it or, or not any major issues like we have here in Mortal Kombat. Now, there's nothing that we're going to be able to do about that, guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we don't have the ear of these developers like most other guys that have the ear of these developers. And we can only basically use our platforms here on YouTube to, ba to convey our message to these devs. So... Here's my message to NetherRealm Studios, to Ed Boone, because you know I really don't speak. I don't like, I'm tired of talking to you developers and whatnot, because all that happens is my passion comes out, and then I get angry and whatnot, and I start cussing y'all out, trying not to do that. So here's my message to the developers of Ed Boone, NetherRealm Studios, developers in general. Make the game you intended to make. If you do that, you won't have to worry about how it's going to play, what the can, what the people are going to think of it, or whatnot. That's always going to be a factor. We always going to be crit critics of something that we don't truly understand. We don't. We ain't there doing the decision makings and the processes and all that stuff. Y'all got to go through. All we can do is say, "Hey, we know who, but studio made the damn game or published the game." And go after the names that we hear who introduce themselves when they discussing such things like, oh, this is what we bring into the game or blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Make the game that you intend on making. That's what happened with Mortal Kombat 1. It should have been Injustice 3, but y'all were trying to play and pander to the fans who just had to have another Mortal Kombat. They, th those fans, in reality, didn't even want another Mortal Kombat. They wanted NetherRealm Studios to make another fighting game. It didn't have to be this. Instead, this is what you got. And it, honestly, after playing the story mode and just listening to a bunch of character banner and whatnot, banter and whatnot, and, and, and knowing that, okay, we are now facing a multiple timeline scenario in Mortal Kombat, it kind of makes me nervous as to where they're going to try to go next with the series. Because if they've introduced the fact that all these different timelines exist, what says that they won't try to use this as a catalyst to say, okay, well, the reason why certain characters, actors looked a certain way in the new Mortal Kombat that couldn't come up in the next five years is because this is telling the story from a different timeline which also gives us the ability to change up the game and make unnecessary changes to it and still charge y'all 120 bucks for it and it'll still be the same game we made 10 years ago. I'm just saying. Make the game, get, stop with all this exclusive access, these paid favorites that y'all are trying to serve us up to tell us that the game is the game that we need to buy. I don't need no fucking... Blue eyed, blonde haired, British accent, fucking whoever. It don't matter, matter about the skin color. What I don't need no motherfucker telling me what I need to spend my money on. All right, I got enough issues and whatnot of trying to figure out what to spend my money on, and when I, the money that I do have, the, the, the just to be told lies by somebody who's already been paid by the company that they're trying to get me to buy. Who they trying to get me to buy the game from? These motherfuckers already gave y'all 2500 or 25 k to sit up here and play what y'all know y'all don't like. You know what I'm saying? If you're not enjoying it or whatnot, there's no way anybody is going to sit up here and tell me that they this player one bug is not ruining the game for them. 
It does, especially if you online. Especially if you in big tournaments and you got a bug that this that this game breaking. It matters. Servers in the online game matter. They need to work. Hitboxes in a game where people are getting hit need to work. If you don't know how to program or balance a game and what it seems like these days that these developers don't know how to do it. If you can't do this, then maybe you need to find yourself another profession. That's all I'm saying. Mortal Kombat 1 should have just went on ahead and been Injustice 3 or MK versus uh, uh, DC 2. Because it would have been a better game. It wouldn't have had to suffer such drastic changes to make it work. And the story probably would have been 10 times better than this story was. Now, like I said, I get the story credit because it was good and I was actually pretty hyped for it. But afterwards, you start thinking about all the other stuff and where it said what it set up and where it can go. So, guys, like I said, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but passion, man, because this is not a difficult decision. If I'm willing to give you my money, you know what I'm saying, for a product that's worth paying for, then you should have no problem taking the the funds that you have to make this game. And the funds that you will acquire after the game is released and made to make the game better. That's all your boy Beanie saying. Guys, if you feel me, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Mortal Kombat 1 should have been Injustice 3? Would you have preferred Injustice 3? And finally, don't forget to head on over there to the Beanie Shack and uh, let your boy know, you know, that you're there, that you're supporting. Swing on over to the Beanie Shack. Check me out. Let me know. Uh, join the streams. Like this video if you hadn't already. And yeah, y'all stay safe. Take it easy. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.